This is the story of a man named Stanley. To tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought, how amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I suppose we should probably listen to him this time and go upstairs before I go insane again. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Damn, this office fancy. Oh. Why are the doorknobs so bright? No secretary, of course. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Well, I was kind of hoping he'd say something sarcastic. Stanley just, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct the code hell? by sheer luck. Amazing. <laughs> He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This is fantastic. This was a great recommendation. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. This is very poor. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read <laughs> the Mind hell? Control Facility. Um. Got what? Um. Help? I mean, obviously I'm going to take the escape. That makes more sense. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I'm down for it. Let's do it. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every <laughs> opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Try me. Try me. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There you go, Stanley. What? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led <laughs> Why is it a girl into now? the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What? <laughs> wow. 
football. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive Are as you ever. Joking? What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I'm so confused. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death what? becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What? Is it, that's my office, right? What is going on? <laughs> that's fantastic. Is this a museum dedicated to me? Man, this is a fantastic game. Whoever made this, you, you guys, well done. Well done, guys. Office clock. What? Apologize if you can hear the leaf blowing outside. I have no control over that. What is the exit? Let's go for the exit. Actually, I'm going to look around up here a little bit. And then we're going to try the exit and see what happens. Why is there three of my office? I'm confused. What the heck is going on? <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. This is so creepy. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can Whoa. stop the program before they what? both fail. Why am I back here, here again? Just quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Is it telling me to quit the game? Choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. Okay, I died. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> what now? Do I actually quit the game? What? What do I do? Do I actually quit and then come back? Okay, I guess I do. Give me a second. I'm going to try that. Wow. Wow. Begin the game again is an option. If we resume, it's just the black screen. So I guess we begin again. <laughs> what a mind screw. I love it though. This is fantastic. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Nah, outside's overrated. That's why we're inside when Stanley playing this. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Speed run. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. You one up to me, narrator. Well done. God damn it. Uh. <laughs> Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward <laughs> into the opened passageway. Mm. 
Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Heck yeah, I do. This is great. I'm having a blast. Now the monitors jumped to life. Whoa. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Man, I want the job of whoever was that camera. They just got to sit on a chair all day. Oh my goodness, what a job. This is really cool level design. I love it. Fired. Lol. Is that me? Did I get fired? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. It's so cool. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? This game is no. real meta. He refused wow. to believe it. He couldn't pirate. accept Why does that say it. Pirate? His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to put in a code. Should I do it? Just, just for the laughs? I think I should. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you want? Hell yeah. Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, <laughs> two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly well. what happened to them. <clears throat> I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. 
Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. <laughs> My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional I feel like I'm supposed to be inputting the code, but I don't know what it is. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One, solved? <laughs> Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every <laughs> moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. What the hell? Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Well, alright then. <laughs> I guess I lost. God dang it! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I feel like we've been here before. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might for coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is slightly repetitive. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Oh, wow, I didn't even have to put the code in. Great. I love that the dialogue changes as you play it. It makes this game ten times better. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Here we go again. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I had a sprint button. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. 
He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Dramatic. Did I win? What? Blackness. What? And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Of course not. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. See about and yet, Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. <laughs> for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way right now that things were meant to happen. I feel like something's gonna happen. And Stanley was happy. Is it over? Oh, I... That was it? That's the end? What? <laughs> well. Okay, then. That was interesting. Why am I back at the start again? What the hell? <laughs> Thank you.